I'm back. I'll be reading. I'll, I'll be... I'll be reading the Bible, and I'm using the, read, the reading plan from Daily Audio Bible. And I'll... By Daily Audio Bible Chronological. And we'll be reading Job, chapter... Chap, job, chapter... We'll be reading Job chapter, chapter, we'll be reading Job chapter 21 to Job 31, Job chapter 21, then Job replied, listen carefully, do my words let this be the consolation you give me, bear with me while I speak and after. I have spoken, mark on, is my complaint directed to a human being? Why should I not be impatient? Look at me and be appalled. Clap your hand over your mouth. When I think about this, I am terrified, trembling seizes. My, my body, why do the wicked live on? Growing old and increasing in power, they see their children established around them, the offspring before their eyes. Their homes are safe and free from fear. The water god is not on them. The bulls never fail to breed. The cows calf and do not miscarry. They send forth their children as a flock. The little ones dance about. They sing to the music of temple and, and L-Y-R-E. They make merry to the sound of the pipe. They spend their years in prosperity and go down to the grave in peace. Yet they say to God, leave us alone. We have no desire to know your ways. To know your ways. Who is the Almighty that we should serve him? What would we gain by praying to him? But their prosperity is not in, in their own hands. So I stand aloof from the plans of the wicked. Of the wicked. Yet how often is the lamp of the wicked snuffed out? How often does calamity come upon them? The fake God, God allots in his anger. How often are they like straw before the wind, like chaff swept away by a gale? It is said, God, God stores up the punishment of the wicked for their children. Let him repay the wicked so that they themselves will experience it. Let their own eyes see there. See their destruction. Let them drink the cup of the wrath of the Almighty. For what do they for what do they they, they care about the families they leave behind when their allotted months come to an end? Can anyone teach knowledge to God since he judges even the highest? One per, one person dies and for a vigor completely secure and at ease. Well nourished in body, bones wished with marrow, another dies in bitterness or so, never having enjoyed anything good. Side by side they they lie, and the dust and worms cover them both. I know for well what you are thinking, the schemes by which you would wrong me. You say, well now is the house of the, of the, of the great. The tents where the wicked live. Have you never questioned those who who travel? Have you paid no regard to 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 their accounts that the wicked are are spared from the day a calamity that they are delivered from the day of wrath? Who denounces their conduct to to their face? Who pays them for what they they are done? They are carried to the grave. And watch it is kept over the tombs, the tombs. The soil in the valley is sweet to them. Every everyone who everyone who follows after them, and a countless throng goes before them. So how can you you console me with your nonsense? Nothing is left of your answers but falsehood. But falsehood. Third round of discussion, E-L-I-P-H-A-Z, Job Chapter 22. Then E-L-I-P-H-A-Z, the T-E-M-A-N-I-T-E, -E, replied, Can a man be 
uh, a benefit to God can even a wise person be benefit him? What pleasures would he give the Almighty if you were righteous? What would he gain if your ways were blameless? It is for your pity that he rebukes you and brings charges against you. Is not your wickedness great? Are not your sins endless? You demanded security from your relatives for no reason. You stripped people of their clothing, leaving them naked. You gave no water to the weary, and you without food from the hungry. Though though you were a power a powerful man owning land, an honored man living on it, and you and you sent widows away empty-handed and broke the strength of the fatherless. That is why snares. Or all around you, and why sudden Paul terrifies you? Why, why it is so dark you cannot see, and why a flood of water covers you? Is not God in the heights of heaven? And see how lofty are or the highest stars? Yet you say, What does God know? Does he? Does he judge through? Through? Does he judge through such darkness? The clouds fell him so. The clouds fell him, so so he, so he does not see us as he goes about in the vaulted heavens. Will you keep to to the old path that the wicked have trod? They were carried off before their time. Their foundations washed away by a flood. They said to God, "Leave us alone. What can the Almighty do to us?" Yet it was He who filled the houses with with. With good things, so I stand aloof from the plans of the wicked. The righteous see the see the ruin and rejoice. The innocents mock them, saying, "Surely, surely our foes are destroyed, and fire devours their wealth." Submit to God and be at peace with Him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. Accept instruction from His from His mouth, and lay up His words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. If you remove wickedness far from your tent and assign your nuggets to the to the to the dust, your gold of O P H I R to the rocks and the ravines, then then the Almighty will 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 be your will be your gold, the choicest silver for you. For you. Surely then you will find delight in the Almighty, in the Almighty, and and will lift up your face to God. You will pray to Him, and He will heal you, and you will fulfill your vows. What you decide on will be done, and light will shine on your ways. When people are are brought low, and you say, "Lift them up," then He then He will save the downcast. He will He will He will deliver. You will deliver even one who is not innocent. Who will, who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands, of your hands? Job chapter twenty-three. Then Job replied, "Even today, my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy, in spite of of." My groaning, if only I knew where to find him. If only I could go to his dwelling. I I would state my I would state my case before him, and fill my mouth with arguments. I would I would find out what what he would answer me, and consider what he he would say to me. Would he vigorously oppose me? No, he would not press charges against me. Though the upright can establish. Their innocence before him, and there I would be delivered forever from my judge. But if I go to the east, he is not there. If I go to the west, ah,、uh, I do not find him. When he is at work in the north, I do not see him. When he turns to the south, I catch no glimpse of him. But he knows the the way that I take. When he when he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. My feet. I closely followed his steps. I have kept to his ways without turning aside. I have, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words 
of his mouth more than, more than my daily bread. But he stands alone, and who can oppose him? He does whatever he pleases. He carries out his decree against me, and and many su such plans he still he still has in store. That is why I am terrified before him when I think of all the of all this. I fear him. God has made my heart faint. The Almighty has terrified me. Yet I am not silenced by the darkness, by the by the thickest darkness that covers my face. That covers my face. Job chapter twenty four. Why does the Almighty not set times for judgment? Why why must those who who know Him look in look in look in vain for such days? There were those who who moved boundary stones. They passed the flocks they had stolen. They drive away the orphan's donkey and take the widow's ox, and pledge. They thrust the needy from the path and force all the poor of the land into hiding, like wild donkeys in the desert. The poor go about the labor of forging food. The wasteland provides food for their children. They gather, they gather f o d d e r in the fields and glean in the vineyards of the wicked. Lacking clothes, they spend the night naked. They have, they have nothing to cover themselves in the cold. They are drenched by mountain rains, and hug the rocks for lack of shelter. The fatherless child is is snatched from the breast. The infant and the poor is seized for a debt. Locking clothes, they 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 go about naked. They carry they carry the the cheese the cheese, but still go hungry. They crush olives among the terraces. They tread the wine presses yet. Suffer thirst, the groans of the dying wise from the city, and the souls of the wounded wounded cry out for help. But God charges no one with wrongdoing. There were those who rebel against the light, who do not who do not know its ways or stay in its paths. When daylight is gone, the martyrs the martyr rises up. Kills the poor and needy, and in the and in the night steals forth like a thief. The eye of the of the adulterer watches for dusk. He thinks no eye will see me, and he keeps his face concealed. In the dark, thieves break into houses, but by day they shut themselves in. They they want nothing to do with the light. For all of them, at night is their morning. They make friends. With the terrors of darkness, yet they are foam on the surface of the water. Their portion of the land is cursed. So, so that, so that, no one goes to the vineyards as heat and and drought snatch away the melted snow. So the grave snatches away those who have sinned. The wound forgets them. The warm feasts on them. The wicked are. No longer remembered, but are bro but are broken like a tree. They prey on the barren and, and childless mother, and to the widow they show no kindness. So no kindness, but God, but but God drags away the mighty by His power. Though they become established, they have no assurance. I look. A life, he he may he may let them rest in in a feeling of security, but his eyes are on their ways. For a little while they are exalted, and then they are gone. They are brought low and gathered up, and gathered up up like 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 all others. They they are cut off like heads of grain. If this is, if this is, if this is not not so. Who can prove me false and reduce my words to nothing? To nothing. Job chapter Job chapter twenty five. Then B I L D A D. The S H U H I T E replied. Domain and all belong to God. He establishes order in the heights of heaven. Can his forces be numbered on whom? 
does his light not rise? How then can a mortal be righteous before God? How can one born of woman be pure? Be pure, if e if even the moon is not bright and the stars are not pure in his eyes, how much less a mortal who is but but a magnet, a human being who is only a worm. A worm, Job chapter twenty six. Then Job, then Job replied, "How you have helped the powerless! How you have saved the arm that is feeble! What advice you have offered to one without wisdom, and what great insight you have displayed! Who has helped you utter these words? And whose, and whose spirit spoke from your mouth? The dead, the dead are in deep anguish." Those beneath the waters, and all that and all that live in them, the realm of the dead is naked. Before God, destruction lies uncovered. He spreads out the northern skies over empty space. He suspends the earth over nothing. He wraps up the waters in his clouds. Yet the clouds do not do not burst under their weight. He covers the face of the full moon, spreading his clouds over it. He marks out the horizon on the face of the waters for a boundary between light and darkness. The pillars of the heavens quake against a gas, a gas at his rebuke. By his power, he churned up the sea. By his wisdom, he cut he cut R A H A B to pieces. By his breath, the skies became fair. His hand pierced. The gliding serpent, and these are but the but the outer fringes uh, of his rocks. How faint the whisper we hear of him! Who then can can understand the thunder of his power? Of his power. Job chapter twenty-seven. Job's final word to his friends, and Job continued his dis his discourse. As surely as God lives, who has who has denied me justice? The Almighty, who who has who has who has made my life bitter? As long as long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not will not will not say will not say anything wicked, and my tongue will not utter lies. I will never admit. I will never admit you. You are in the right till I die. I will not deny my integrity. I will maintain my innocence, innocence, and ne and never and never let go of it. My conscience will will not reproach me as long as I live. May my enemy be like the wicked, my adversary like the unjust. For what hope have the godless when they are cut off? When God takes away their life, does God listen to their to their cry? When distress comes upon them, will they find a light in the Almighty? Will they call on God at all times? At all times, I will teach you about the power of God, the ways of the Almighty. I will not conceal. You have you have all seen you have all seen this yourselves. Why then this meaningless talk? Here is the here is the fake God God allots to the wicked. The heritage a ruthless man receives from the Almighty. However, however many his children, the fate is the sword his offspring will never will will never have have enough to eat. The plague will bury those who survive him, and the widows will not weep for them. Though he, though he heaps up, heaps up several like dust and clothes like piles of clay. What he lay, what he, what he lays up, the righteous will wear, and the innocent will divide his silver. The house he builds is like a moth's cocoon, like a hut made by by a watchman. He lies down wealthy, but will do, but will do so no more. When when he opens his eyes, all is gone. Terrors overtake him like a flood. A tempest 
snatches him away in the night. In the night, the east wind carries him off, and he is gone. It sweeps him out. It sweeps him out of his place. It it holds itself against him without mercy as he flees headlong from its power. It claps its hands in derision and hisses and hisses him and hisses him out. And it is him out of his place, of his place. Job chapter twenty-eight. Interlude where wisdom is found. There is there is a mine for silver and a place where gold is refined. Iron is taken from the earth and copper is smelted from all mortars. Put an end. To the darkness, they search out. They search out the farthest recesses for ore in the blackest darkness. Far from human dwellings, they cut a shaft. They cut a shaft in and in places untouched by human feet. Far from other people, they dangle and sway the earth from which from which food comes is transformed be- below. Below, as by fire, L A P I S L A Z U L I comes from its rocks, and its dust contains nuggets of gold. No bird of prey knows knows that hidden path. No falcon's eye has seen it. Proud beasts do do not set foot on it, and no lion prowls there. People people assault the flinty rock with their hands and lay bare the roots. Of、uh, the mountains, they turn they turn it through the rock. The eyes see all all its treasures. They search the sources of the rivers and bring hidden things to light. But where but where can wisdom be found? Where does understanding dwell? No mortal comprehends its worth. It cannot be found in the land of the living. The deep says it is not in me. The sea says it is not with me. It cannot be be. Be bought with the with with the finest gold, nor can its price be weighed out in silver. It cannot be bought with the with the gold of O P H I R with precious with precious onyx or L A P I S L A Z U L I. Neither gold nor crystal can compare with it, nor can it be be had for jewels or gold. Coal and jasper are are not worthy. I mentioned the price of wisdom is beyond rubies. The topaz of Kush cannot compare with it. It cannot be bought with pure gold. Where then do, does wisdom come from? Where does understanding dwell? Dwell. It is hidden from the eyes of every living living thing, concealed even from the birds in the sky. Destruction and death say only a rumor of it. Has reached our ears. God understands. God understands the way to it, and He alone knows where it dwells. For He views the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. When He established the force of the wind and measured out the waters, when He made a decree for the rain and a path for for the thunderstorm, then He looked at wisdom and and appraised it. He he confirmed it and tested it, and he said to to the human ways, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom, and to shun evil is understanding. Is understanding. Is understanding. Job's final defense. Job chapter twenty-nine. Job continued his discourse. How I long for the months gone by, for the days when God watched over me, when His lamp shone on my head, and by His and by His light I walked through darkness. Oh, for the days when I was in my prime, when God's intimate friendship blessed my house, when the Almighty was still with me, and my children were. 
a well meat, when my path was drenched with cream, and the walk poured, and the walk poured out, poured out for 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 me streams of olive oil. When I went to the gate of the city and took my seat in the public square, in the public square, the young man saw me and stepped aside. And the old man rose to their feet. The cheap men refrained from speaking and covered their mouths with their hands. The voices of the nobles were hushed, and the tongues stuck to the roof of their mouths. Whoever heard me, whoever heard me, spoke well of me, and those who saw me commended me, because I rescued the poor who cried for help, and the fatherless who had none to assist them. The one who was dying, bless me. I made the widow's heart sing. I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice was my was my robe and my turban. I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. I was a father to the needy. I took up I took up the case of the stranger. I broke the fangs of the wicked and snatched the victims from their teeth. I thought I would die in my own house. My days. Uh, as numberness, as numberness,、uh, as the grains of sand, my roots will reach to the water and the dew. Where will will lie all night on my, on my branches? My glory will not fade. The bow will whenever the bow will be will be ever new in my in my hand. People listen to me expectantly, waiting in silence for my counsel. After I had spoken, they spoke no more. My words fell gently on their ears. They waited for me as for showers, and drank in my words as the spring rain. When when I smiled at them, they scarcely believed it. The light of my face was precious to them. I chose the way for them and sat as the chief. I dwelt as a king among his troops. I was like one who comforts mourners. Who comforts mourners? Job chapter thirty. But now they they mock me, men younger than I, whose fathers whose fathers I would have disdained to put with with my sheep dogs. Of what use was the strength of the hands to me, since the vigor had gone from them? How good! How good! From want and hunger they roam the parched land and desolate wastelands at night. In the bush they gathered saw tubs, and the food was the root of the broom bush. They were banners for human societies, shouted at as if they were thieves. They were forced to live in the dry stream beds, among the rocks and in holes in the ground. They prayed among the bushes and huddled in the undergrowth. A base, a base, and 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 nameless fraud. They they were driven out of the land, and now and now those young men mock me in song. I have become a byword among them. They detest me and keep their distance. They do not hesitate to spit in my face. Now that God has has unstrung my bow and afflicted me, they throw off restraint in my presence. On my right, the tribe attacks. They lay snares for my feet. They build their siege ramps against me. They break up my road. They succeed in destroying me. No one can help him. They say they advance. They advance as through a gaping breach. Amid the ruins, they come rolling in. Terrors overwhelm me. My dignity is driven away as by the wind. My safety vanishes like. A cloud, and now my life ebbs away. Days of suffering grip me. Night pierces my bones. My my gnawing pains never never rest. In in His great power, God God becomes like clothing to me. He binds me like like the neck of my garment. He throws me into the mud, and I am reduced to dust and ashes. I cry out to you, God, but you. Do not answer. I stand up, but you merely look at me. You turn on me ruthlessly, with the might of your hand. You attack me. You snatch me up and drive me before, before the wind. You toss me about in the storm. I know you will, 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 will bring me down to death. 
to the place appointed for all the living. Surely, surely no one lays a hand on a broken man when he cries for help in his distress. Have I not wept for those in trouble? Has not my soul grieved for the poor? Yet when yet when I hoped for good, evil came. When I looked for light, then then came darkness. The churning inside me never stops. Days of suffering confront me. I go about blackened. I go about blackened, but not. But by the sun I stand. I stand up in the assembly and cry for help. I have become a brother of jackals, a companion of owls. My skin grows black and peels. My body burns with fever. My L Y O E is tuned to mourning, and my pipe to the sound of wailing, of wailing. Job chapter thirty one. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman, for what for what is our Lord from God above, our heritage from the Almighty on high. Is it not ruin for the wicked disaster, for those who do wrong to see, not see my ways and count my every step? If I have walked with falsehood, all my feet, all my feet has hurried after deceit. Let God, let God weigh me in honest scales, and He will know that I am blameless. If my steps have turned from the path, if my heart has been led, has been led by my eyes. Or if my hands have been defiled, have been defiled, then may then may others eat what what I have sown, and may my crops be uprooted, and my heart has been enticed by a woman. Or if, or if, I have looked at my neighbor's door, door, then then may then may my wife grind another man's ma. Find another man's grain, M A M A. Other man sleep with her, but that would up, would up, been wicked, a sin to be judged. It is a fire that burns to destruction. It would ha- have, it would have uprooted my harvest if I have denied justice to any of my servants, whether male or female, when they had a grievance against me. What will I do when God confronts me? What will I answer when called to account? Did not he who 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 made me in the womb make them? Did not the 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 same one form us both both within our mothers? If I if I have denied the desires of the poor, or that the eyes of the widow were weary, if I if I have kept kept my bread to myself, not sharing it with the fatherless, but from my youth. I will, I will them as a father would, and for my birth I guided the widow. If I have, if I have seen seen anyone perishing for lack of clothing or the needy without garments, and the hearts did did not bless me for 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 warming them with the fleece for my sheep. If I if I have raised my hand against the fatherless, knowing that I had influence in court. Then let my arm fall from the shoulder. Let it be be broken off at the joint. At the joint, for I dreaded destruction from God, and for fear uh, of a splinter, I could I could not I could not do do such things. If、uh, if I had put my trust in gold, or said to pure gold, You are my security. If I had、uh, if I had rejoiced over my great wealth. The the fortune my hands have gained. If I have regarded regarded the sun and its radiance, or the moon moving in splendor, so that my heart was equally enticed, and my hand offered offered them a kiss of homage, then these, then these also would be sins to be judged. For I would have been unfaithful to God on high. If I have rejoiced at my enemy's misfortune, or gloated, or gloated over the trouble that that came to him, I have I have not allowed my mouth to sin by invoking a curse against their life. Yet those、uh, of my household have 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 never said 
who has, who has not been filled with God's meat, but, but, but no stranger had to spend the night in the street, for my door was always open to the traveler. If I have concealed my sin, as people do, by hiding my guilt in my heart, because I so, so feared the crowd and so dreaded the contempt of the clans, that I kept silent and, and would not go outside. Outside. Oh, that I had someone, someone to hear me. I sign now my defense. Let the Almighty answer me. Let my accuser put his, in, put his indictment in writing solely. I would wear it on my shoulder. I would put it on like a crown. I would give, give him an account uh, on my every step. I would present it to him as to a ruler. And my, and my land cries out against me, and all its furrows are wet with tears. If, if, I, if, I have, if I have devoured its yield without payment, or broken the spirit of its tenants, then let briars come up instead of wheat, and, and stink and stink weed instead of barley. The words of Job are ended. Are ended. Okay, that's all. Bye for now.